Okay, so today is the first day I am heading back to work. And daddy, daddy is watching Lulu. Yeah. I honestly don't know how I feel. Actually, I do know how I feel. It freaking sucks. Huh. Huh, babe. I do not want to go back. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Baby Lulu, are you going to miss me? Are you going to miss mommy? Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> what? I don't want to go anymore. It's okay. Daddy's got her. Daddy's got her. Say morning, Lulu. Hello. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so first day back to work was an absolute fell. What did you say? Fell. Absolute fell. So then I am a product marketing manager for a different company. So legally, companies are supposed to give you a place to pump for breastfeeding mothers. So I went back to work and it was probably about a good 40 minutes I'm trying to find a place to pump. Now keep in mind, the place that they did give me was a building over, a different building, on the third level next to executive office and it was a closet a, a flipping closet so after 40 minutes trying to find a place calling HR emailing them no response I go over there walk up with my little bag get all set up and realize the bottles are at my desk in the other building and I have to walk clear back. Now, being a product marketing manager, you're in meetings all day, every day. So I have a meeting coming up. So I'm frantically looking for a place in my building to pump and I can't find a place. And I have my coworkers helping me. And so finally, I schedule a meeting room to just pump in and close the door. And the people before me didn't get out when their meeting was supposed to get out. So they're now going into my meeting and I have about 10 minutes left till I have to get to this other meeting. I broke down. I, I broke. I started bawling my eyes out. I was like, I miss my daughter. I don't have a place to pump. And I'm sitting here running around like an idiot with a backpack and my freaking nipple shields in it trying to find a place to pump and I couldn't even find a place. So I ended up going into my director's office, shutting the door, asking one of my coworkers to sit outside and why she works. And I sat and pumped in her office while she was in a different meeting and she didn't even know. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. And so today is day two and I hope it goes better. I hope they give me a place to pump because legally they're supposed to. That was my first day back. And it was swell. <laughs> what did you do, Lulu? <laughs> did you miss mama? <laughs> yeah, we both miss mama, huh? We both did. <laughs> She's like, yeah. how is it for you? You watched her. She is just a gem. She's an easy baby, you know? We just hung out, sang some songs. Except the time she puked on you. Played. She did puke on me. And luckily, ah. luckily, I had my clothes on because it soaked it all up. <laughs> but, and then it proceeded with a big poopies. So, yeah, you're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> yeah, you were so good for dad dad tomorrow. But now you're going to auntie's house today, huh? Say yay. She got it. Come on. Come here. Come here. Do it, Lulu. Come on. Go, baby. Here. Oh my gosh, go baby, go! Go! <laughs> Good job, baby! Hey, princess, you're getting so big! Yay, Lulu! Oh, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. okay, let's roll you back over. There you go. So you're Good passion. job! Hey, look.
I think this is probably the hardest video I've done along with my miscarriage video. So as you know, my husband's little brother, my brother-in-law passed away on my husband's birthday and out of respect for my husband's family and out of respect for my husband, I'm not going to go into details. Um, but it was, uh, he was 18 years old and it was very sudden. And this is the thing. I have been debating back and forth going back to my job forever. Um, and going back to work, it's, it was such a hard transition. To be raw, I just like, okay, what am I gonna do with this video? Am I gonna do tips about how to go back to work and transition after having a baby, tips about breastfeeding at work, tips about pumping at work, tips about all this kind of stuff. And I went back and forth with like the debate of quitting or not, but it wasn't for certain until my husband's little brother passed away. And the reason why life is so short, so short, we have such little time here on earth and to do something that you're not happy with and to do something that you're not in love with your life with, nothing is gonna change if you keep doing the exact same thing over and over again, expecting different results. But I know if I put my faith in the Lord and do what I'm supposed to be doing, that we're going to, we're gonna be okay and things are gonna work out. And Elijah was a firecracker and, um, He was always so, so kind to me. I always told Kaylonie from the very beginning, he had a very special place in my heart and loved him so much. And um, he did not care what people thought about him. He really was unapologetically himself. He marched to the own beat of his drum and he just honestly, as a kid in high school, like all you care about is what your peers think about you and he did not care at all. He really was himself and he lived his life the way he wanted to live it. And it just opened my mind. I'm like, this is not the kind of job I wanna be doing. I wanna be at home with my daughter. I want to be able to do things that I wanna do. And so that's it. I quit my job and I cannot be happier. Like. I have zero reservations. I know everything's gonna be okay and I'm gonna make it work how I need to work and I'm grateful for his ability to show me as a almost 28 year old woman <laughs> and inspire me of how to live my life. Um, I just wanna end with, I hope, Elijah inspires you and this video inspires you that if you're not happy with your life and you're not happy with what you're doing, whether it's a relationship, whether it's work, whether it's anything at all, life is way too short to sit and spend a moment that you're not happy with. Take the risk, go for it, and do something that is worthwhile, that's gonna make you happy because all in the end, if you're a good person, you work hard and you bust your bum and you do what you need to do, things are gonna pay off. So, Elijah, we love you. We miss you so much. I wish so badly you could have met Luna. Um, thank you for inspiring me and Kiloni and opening our eyes and teaching us so many lessons and I'm so grateful that I got to know you in the short amount of time in my life and I will see you again.